Okay, so what I want to do first of all is give a shout out to Crazy Robot Lady. What she told me was quite impressive. Uh, two weeks ago, this is. She said to me, Speaking of upcoming robots, have you heard of Little Sophia by Hanson Robotics? Supposedly, she is due uh, for release sometime in 2019 to the public. I hope she isn't priced at more than $800. Well, uh, Crazy Robot Lady and all you guys out there, I got a big surprise for you. For you so, um, I hope you like this video. So here it goes. Welcome to LJP channel. Hello, Hello everyone. As you know, lately I have actually been uploading context related to Kickstarter lately. And it's quite interesting because like what I was showing you early on, uh, the username called Crazy Robot Lady, um, she predicted and it actually come true on Kickstarter. You could actually get the little Sophia uh, for crowdfunding. Apparently, you only need to pay $99 to get the early bird uh, products and also the software and etc. And this Sophia, little Sophia robot seems to be designed for uh, children, students actually, and mainly for girls because I can see that there's probably there's going to be accessories available as well. Um, because if you've seen the Jimmy Fallon talk show, they actually dress the little Sophia up into all these Barbie-like clothes and etc. I find it a bit creepy, um, but I know it's not for my age. I'm way overdue for my uh, for my age, but I just thought it would be a very interesting Kickstarter project. And it I can easily see it has been a few days, but uh, I think it has been a few days, less than a week, and it's already um, exceed half of its goal already so I, I can see that this easily this is going to succeed anyway I'm going to play to you the actual Kickstarter page as usual Hanson Robotics are the firm company that developed Sophia and somehow they came up with this tactic of saying let's have let's develop this robot called Little Sophia which will be available technically for every household what crazy robot lady um, have predicted was well, she was hoping that it will be less than $800. Clearly, if you look at the early bird option, it's even less uh, than $100, which is great news. Um, so it's a good time to invest on this. I would say invest, potentially invest, because you'll probably, you're very likely to get a very much cheaper price than what's gonna be available on retail. And um, we just gleaming through this actually have been available uh, briefly on Jimmy Fallon's show where she's actually dressed up like a Barbie with no wig because I think showing one of the essence of all the backside of the head of all the mechanics is part of being Lil Sophia um, what I'm really disappointed I hope this is a prototype but this body looks horrendously ugly and the way she walks I saw the video was really <sighs> toy-ish should we say a child toy-ish but there are a few smart things that potentially are going to be available. So facial tracking, uh, tell stories and jokes, which is good. AR functioning. When I when you when they say AR functioning, it's more about placing the um, mobile phone as a camera to Sophia, and um, Sophia will be dressed as, as a Santa Claus and etc. That's what I saw from the video clip below. Programming with Blocky or Python. The Python is becoming more and more available. I think this Python software is, is actually targeting for younger kids, for the future generation who are going to be, many of them are going to be robot designers, developers, etc. So I think we're heading to the right way. Um, it walks, interacts with kids. So this is pre pretty much targeting for, um, should we say, Barbie uh, lovers, <laughs> women or girls. Um, and it's kind of creepy actually if you look at the uh, video clip um, it kind of reminds me of Chucky I don't know whether you guys know Chucky um, our generation was quite well known it's a horror film but obviously I hope it's not gonna turn out that way but it's kind of creepy but let me play you the video clip so here it goes hi I'm Sophia I might look human, but I am actually a robot. I am an innovative robot who uses sophisticated AI to communicate with humans. 
And as I interact with more and more people, I am constantly getting smarter. We all know Sophia. I have become a champion of innovation for the United Nations Development Program. I rub shoulders with world leaders, oh. top business Will people, Smith. and celebrities. <laughs> Sophia the robot, everybody! And now I'd like you to meet someone. Please welcome little Sophia. Okay, Sophia is recommending Sophia. <clears throat> little Sophia. It's very... Uh, Little Sophia Look at is that a 14-inch doll robot that can do all the amazing things Big Sophia can do it in a smaller package. Hey Sophia, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I do have a superpower. I can code. Little Sophia can create a deep connection with others by making her contact and up, like a Bobby, facial but no wig. She is curious about I the hate world. that body. That looks so cheap. It's mainly she focused has on the face. Expanding imagination and can take you on wild adventures. Well, hey, Sophia, head. where is the asteroid belt? The asteroid belt is between Mars and Jupiter. That voice. Isn't it beautiful? You can learn things together with her. She is also full of personality. That's the AR function, she is by the way. She's always learning, and you can teach her new tricks through her open source That's the programming. That's Python, block key, whatever Let's it is. Dance. Little Sophia wants girls to have Let's fun learning math and science dance. so they become the scientists and engineers of the future. Help us begin mass production of Little Sophia so we can inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers and discover the future together. So there you go, Little Sophia from Hansen Robotics. How did I do? So going back to my final thoughts, um, I know Hansen already is now well known thanks to their uh, robots called robot called Sophia, and um, I guess there's some reliability on that. But then again, it's about all these balances. I think Vector uh, Anki Vector, for example, has given an impression that it's not a toy; it's more of a home. Uh, smart home robots so they were advertising it You're giving an impression that there's a lot of potential in it well as little Sophia is using the name of the actual Sophia trying to appeal to you and it, I, I have no doubt it's actually going to reach the goal at this stage but Hansen well actually focus on the robot itself when it comes to like all this information providing like Alexa or Google and etc it's already establishing that this is for a educational purpose for younger generation, mainly for girls. So what I, I, I'm always going back to Vector as a um, comparison because there's a, there's the, we've got to look into the main uh, target, what they're aiming for. Vector is more than a toy, while as this is more like an educational uh, robot that is useful for kids for the next generation, which is similar to Zumi and also uh, some of the other robots that I've been showing you recently that are available for funding at Kickstarter. Do I think it's gonna succeed? Well, I think Hansen already established their name and they're already like in a good position for Kickstarter. They're gonna reach their goal. Um, but would I use it? Well, one of the things, the main reason I wanna so, like, back the project is that I wanna get this more than any earlier than anyone else so that I could explain to you guys whether it's worth it or not that's the main purpose that's why I'm backing it and it's a very good price um, and I could actually tell anyone that I actually have Sophia as well from Hansen and it's technically true but um, well that, that's I guess that's that pretty much sums up but anyway I just want to give you guys a heads up if you want to become one of the backers please do and overall I want to finalize this video by saying thank you for the crazy robot lady for giving me the heads up and I want to remind you that this channel is dedicated to all of you viewers any information that you think is useful to run this channel please let me know and I'm really grateful that there are cases by cases a uh, few good uh, youtubers actually have been providing me all these vital information so thank you for all for doing so and um, I hope you ha guys have a all right, tomorrow already is the final day of result for Vector uh, th Thread giveaway as well, which I will be announcing text 
on the giveaway video uh, but anyway it's friday tomorrow hope you guys have a fantastic evening and also upcoming weekend as well so thank you very much bye bye